hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing us how to cut and sew this lovely kimono top the waistline is ruched and i've done something similar to this but this one is fuller so i'll be explaining how i did it so i will use pattern paper so that we can see what i'm doing very clearly now i have my shoulder and chest line already drawn okay so on the shoulder line i'm marking half of my across back same thing on the chest line distance from shoulder to chest line i use them um, nine inches because it's a free top okay so i'll just link it together like so like that so this is the back we are starting with the back and the back is on fold okay so now from where the shoulder measurement stop I will mark the length of sleeve I want to work with. So this is 11, okay? 10 or 11, whichever one. Then I also draw a straight length to connect it together, like that, okay? I hope that is clear enough. Now, on the chest line, I want to mark quarter of my bust. Then I'll add about one or one and a half inch for ease. It's a free top, okay? Either one, one and a half inch for ease. Then, after the chest line, the next line is my hemline. The hemline is where you want the top to get to. So, the length of my own blouse is about 28 inches. So, on this line, I will mark quarter of my hip circumference twice. So, that's one. Then, the second time, quarter of my hip is 10.5 so that's 21 then i added my seam allowance okay now um i'll be linking the chest line to the hemline right so but i will come down from the chest line with about two inches because we are cutting the sleeve and the bodies together you need to create a form of allowance so i'll come down and i'll link it to I will link, I will draw a line that ends where my bust measurement stops, okay? So now, I will link that point that's, you know, I came down from the chest line. So I'll link it to the hemline there. Then you can just use your curve or your hand to create a slight curve. You know, our, our arm hole is not that sharp. So you can see the cover I just created. Now, for the neckline, I'll be doing three inches by one inches for the neck width and neck depth. It's fine. Then I'll just link the armhole using my French curve. I'll draw the curve of my armhole. Then, of course, next thing is to draw my shoulder slant. So I'll mark one inch. Add the sleeve opening there then i'll link it to the shoulder tip so some of us are always complaining that i should draft directly on fabric sometimes it's difficult because you might not be able to see what i'm doing so that's why i prefer to draft on paper but what i'm doing now you can draft it directly on your fabric you understand this is for tutorial purpose so this is i'll be adding my half inch allowance round Okay, then I will cut out the excess. Okay, then I'll use this to cut the front pattern. Don't forget that this is the back pattern, and the back pattern is on fold. Okay, so this is how my pattern looks like. So it looks more or less like an A line kimono top. Okay, but um, it's a uh, it's a free top basically so i didn't use my exact measurement now i want to shape the hemline a bit i want to shape the hemline a bit so i came up by one inch on the hemline then i'll use either the curve part of my ruler or the straight part to create a slight curve right so i can now cut out my excesses you guys should pardon my voice i don't know since the beginning of this year i've been battling with 
um, cold. <laughs> Not cold per se. Like, I've been taking so much cold stuff. So it's affecting my voice. Like, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> it doesn't stop me from um, doing my tutorial. I should have done this video a long time ago, but I've been battling with my voice. Like, and I'm so addicted to taking cold water. So that's my major challenge, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is the back pattern, right? Okay, so if you're following, let me know in the comment section. For this top, I used roughly two yards or there about, uh, yeah, roughly two or two and a half yards or so. So now I want to cut the front. It's very simple. You just pin this. To your fabric now i know most of us want to cut the fabric there the blouse that on our fabric so you just fold the fabric into two again then you place this back pattern on the fabric okay then you might want to leave some space at the center back for seam allowance you know me i'm cutting on paper so that is why um, i'm placing it edge to edge <clears throat> yeah so i'm just um cutting out like so then we'll just alter the front pattern a bit so like i said in my pre previously i have done a tutorial like this before in that tutorial i showed how to cut it how to sew from beginning to the end but that one was not as full as this that one was just like a normal kimono the ruches the ruches didn't really come out because I didn't want it to be full okay so but now i'm trying out the fuller version so what i'll do is i will post the link to that one in this um tutorial so that i can watch the sewing aspects because it's the same it's the same method of sewing it's just the cutting that is slightly different now to cut the front i am marking my shoulder tip there then i can take out the um back pattern okay so the opening of your kimono depends on where you want it to be that's the break point so from my shoulder line i chose somewhere around 15 or 16 inches that's few inches below your underbust now you create like um, a v neckline from the shoulder tip to the um that 15 inch mark okay I hope you guys can hear me. Please let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you are struggling to hear me or if you can hear me very well so that I will know what to do. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just cutting out um, the unwanted parts. So that's it basically. You're cutting two of this and you add seam allowance round. Then I'll quickly show us how to cut a facing because you don't really need to cut a lining for this. It's not necessary. Okay, so I'll show us how to cut the facing. Now, this is my back pattern that will be on fold. And um, the second one is the front that will be cutting um, two of it. Okay, I hope that is very clear. Now, I'll be showing us how to cut the facing. So to cut the facing, you pick... Okay, before I cut the facing... Let me just mark where the um, ruche, the rope will be. So it can be somewhere around your half length. Okay. So you use your chalk to mark this on the fabric. So that after sewing, you'll be able to follow that line to add the rope on the waist. Okay. So now let's go back to the cutting of um, the facing. So this is assumed to be my fabric. You place it under the pattern. Okay. Then you trim off the neckline like so. Then the facing should be at least like 5 inches long. So that it's not bulging out. After the neck, um, the neckline. So this is it here. Okay. Meanwhile, this is the back facing. You don't need it to be very long. So I'm just trimming around the chest line. So that's about 10 inches long and 5 inches wide. Okay. So this is going to be my back facing. And it will also be on fold. A facing is a shorter version of your lining. Can you see? It's just shorter. Something to turn 
the neckline okay then for the front that one has to be long because the opening of the front is from the shoulder to the hemline so you just pick still pick your fabric meanwhile you're cutting two of the facing two right so you place your um pattern paper or your fabric you don't need to waste paper i'm cutting your fabric directly so you pin the front pattern like so right then you trace out the, the neckline from the top all the way to the down and um, the, the hemline of the top because the facing has to rhyme with the opening you get it so you can see that i'm cutting it, cutting it from the hemline because the neckline of the front is v so you have to cut it to rhyme like so i'm trimming out the excess at the lower part and i also trim out the excess at the front part now the length of my facing about four or five inches is okay you don't need something that is too um long so you cut that way then i can take off my um uh, front piece and cut out the remaining part of my facing So that's it. So I'm cutting out two of this. Now let me use this medium to tell us if you have any styles you want me to um, do a video on, you can just comment in the comment section. Okay. I'll try to work on that. Yeah. Now, um, this is my face in here. So like I said, you're also cutting two of it. And it must blend with the neckline. You see that so like i said i've done a sewing tutorial on something similar like exactly but this one is just fuller so i'll post the link in the um description box click on it and watch it and when you finish showing it you can join us on cut and sew by way lala on facebook you can post your own style let us see okay i hope this video was helpful if it was let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe